Hey guys, We Quilt Studio here. Quick video uh, for a Facebook question. Uh, somebody uh, created a, a font that was large and so they got this effect. And so I'm going to show you how to get this effect. You notice that it's still a turning satin. You know, it's not a fill that just goes one way, either horizontal or 45. It actually turns with the letter, and it fills in the entire large letter. And it still kind of looks like a satin. So I'll show you how you get that. So I'll go into Insert, Font Engine Text, and I'll just use Milkshake. And I... I'll type in the letter N down here. I'll just leave this as floating stitches solid. I'm going to properties. It's about three and a half inches tall. So that's almost 100 millimeters tall. Four inches would be 100 mils. Um, auto column, no outline. But you want to click on params. And auto column is checked and I have the density at 4 and the pull at 0.1 it's these are the defaults but you want to click use pattern and then your fill comes up the last one I used was cusp lines 2 that's my favorite when I do something like this you can try some of the other ones like the fill 1 or 2 but I believe cusp lines 2 is just the prettiest and I'll just click OK and then OK down here. And then there you go. There it is there. And I'll bring it into view. And it's it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. We'll zoom out a little bit. It's not really coming into view. Oh, probably because of the hoop that's as big as my hoop is but you get the idea you know it looks just like the one above it and if you look at it in the items window it stitches out continuously in one full sweep now you can also do that in studio next or studio regular this is Studio Next, Embird's newest vector module. And so you would just go to Text, Font Engine Text, click. Uh, Milkshake was already selected here, because so I probably used it already there. And I'll just type in the same letter, and I'll go to Scale. I'm in mils, so I'll make this one 100 mils, which is about 4 inches. Hit enter, enter, and I'll just bring it down. And let's see, I have auto column fill selected up here. I did have center out because I was working on a cap, but I'll just click left to right, center. Uh, no outlines, and I always leave that as the first option. And you can, uh, when you when you make this, a lot of times uh, you want to do all your parameters in one one step. So you can click on params over here and give it a minute. And so here it is here, you would do auto column for the fill mode, and then use pattern is right here. And then I'll click here, and cusp lines 2 is a little more than halfway down. There it is there. And I'll just hit done. And I can hit the fill right here. And there it is there and we'll go into 3d so you get the same effect in both studio modules all right guys if you like this video please like and subscribe because that'll help me to be able to make more free videos for you all 
and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.